safety, freedom, and sheeple. I ordered two books out of one of them. Very good book. I just started. This book is going to be outstanding. And it's called You Hold a Pale Horse by William Cooper. And in this book, there is a quote here that I strongly agree with. And it says, I believe that any man without principles that he is ready and willing to die for at any given moment is already dead and is of no use or consequence whatsoever. And another line in here that I believe, we cannot survive any longer by hanging on to falsehoods of the past. Reality must be discerned at all costs if we are to be a part of the future. Truth must prevail in all instances, no matter who it hurts or helps if we are to continue to live upon this earth. At this point, what we want may no longer matter it is what we must do to ensure our survival that counts. The old way is in the certain process of destruction and a new world order is beating down the door. One more line. To cling to the past is guaranteed suicide. To remain apathetic is ensured enslavement. To learn the truth and then act on it is the only means of survival at this moment. I encourage you to read this book. Because of us being conditioned, programmed, rocked to sleep, distracted, we have gotten to the place now that we're so confused. We don't know up from down, left from right, side to side. We don't know right from wrong. We have gotten to the place that anyone that tries to bring us truth, we fight it. And it's scary. We're living in somewhat a scary time. But the more you inform yourself, the better decisions you can make. I want to let you know this. Anything that comes to you free, question it. Anything that is forced on you, question it. Free handouts has allowed the enemy to walk through the door. Through our own lust, through our own desires of things that don't even matter. We have allowed the enemy to walk through the door. Free or what appears to be free comes with conditions. And the conditions are not always favorable, but they're not always considered initially because what is being given seems to be more appealing at the time. It's kind of like when predators come to kids and they offer them candy because they know that it will lure the child. And then once they get the child, they can do whatever they want to as they please. But we don't think about that because it's packaged in a way that is believable and it's manipulated in a way that you, you almost can't argue with. But the problem is not many of us read. It's been books for years. This is one of them that's been telling us what's going on, but we don't read. And that is the thing. Slavery, or the key to how we're going to be a slave, is written in books. But because we don't like to read, we don't even want to read a lengthy paragraph on social media. It's easy to hide. Let me tell you something. Nothing is really a secret. There's two things here. Either you're not seeking the information or you're ignoring it. But it's always in plain sight. Now, nobody comes up to you and say... Hey, this is what's going on. And even when it's done, you get mad because people can't fathom the simple evil that is present. They're not comfortable with the truth. Even evil is a perception because if it were you and you had the power to manipulate a situation in your favor, you would do it. If you had the power and the resources, you would do it. The lengths that you could go with the endless resources that you have, you would do it. But it's not fathomable. And it's not fathomable because we're not all the same. We're in different parts of evolution on this planet. So everybody doesn't see things the same. And just like on this, this lifetime here, you've gone through so many things or, or you haven't gone through so many things. But the point is your experiences and your exposure dictates how, how you see the world. It dictates what you uh, pay attention to. And some people love to live in a bubble and live in fantasy damn island because that's what's comfortable. But no longer do we have the luxury of living that way. That is over. We had that in the 80s when we were born in the 80s. Some of us was born in the 80s. We had that in the 90s. We even had it in the early 2000s. So we thought. But now is the time to wake up because it's, it's your life at stake. Safety. What is safe? Safety is relative to who you may ask. Safety is relative to the resources that you may have. Survival is relative to individuals. You have some people that will have a child just to get a check from them. They will hold their child back just to get some income. And don't understand the very system that gives them that is the very system that means them no good. My God. I don't say this to scare you. I don't say this because it's some kind of conspiracy. You can argue it 
all you want. I'm so serious. I, like I said, I refuse to argue. I just will block you at this point because I come in peace. I come well intended. I come without malice in my heart. I come humbly because for some crazy odd reason, I still give a shit about people who don't. How much do you care about you? And if you don't care about you, do you care about your children? And if you don't care about them, do you care about your children's children? What do you care about? Let me ask you that. Interesting times we are in. Our people are so brilliant, so intelligent, so marvelous, so outstanding. I just seen a young man pedaling down the street. His rear end was on the handlebars of his bike and he was facing the part that he should be sitting, uh, sitting on, which would be the seat. And he was pedaling the bike backwards all the way down the street. And I had to stop and tell him how talented that was amazing outstanding it's the little things that we're so brilliant in but yet we miss the biggest marks and that's what's scary we've got to think deeper in these days we have got to think deeper or it's about our children you know what if i didn't have kids i wouldn't even give a damn i'm gonna be honest with you i mean i would care but not to this degree because i can handle me even if i gotta go down fighting even to my last breath, but I got children and your children should matter. What's going on right now is deeper than being safe. And it does not stop here. The train, the locomotive will continue to run. And if you're not careful, you will be ran over in the process. My people, I just want to say that I love you. And I hope that without going too long and too deep into this, you understand where I'm coming from. And if not, I choose not to argue because I come in peace. I don't have to argue. It's not necessary. If you know, you know. And if you don't, God bless you. May the creator, our ancestors and angels continue to bless us and guide us through these troubling times. I love you all. Please say a prayer and read a book because we need it. Hopefully we get it right.